We've been asked to investigate allegations that uh, there has been harvesting of organs of Falun Gong in China. Our bottom line conclusion after considering everything as best we could was that the allegations are true. The allegations are true. This is a state-sponsored genocide. I welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Uh, Dr. Dana Churchill. In April of 2022, Dr. Dana Churchill continued a series of informational events to increase awareness of China's continued human rights violations. I'm a, on a group of doctors called the Doctors Against Horse Organ Harvesting. They're about bringing awareness to some horrific persecution to a group called Falun Gong. Falun Gong is an ancient practice for improving mind and body through meditation and exercises. In 1999, the Chinese Communist Party outlawed Falun Gong and began a ruthless campaign to eliminate it. China decided to say, the state owns your body. If you practice Falun Gong, if you do anything that goes against what we want you to do, then we can basically do whatever we want with your body. So that ended up with millions of people in labor camps being worked to death and tortured for all the goods that we buy around the world, really cheap, coming out of China. And then a lot of those people, if they wouldn't recant their practice, they'd be tortured and tortured and tortured to the point where they're almost dead. So then they would ship them off to the hospital, take their organs. They get people coming in from the West that can't get organs, and they'll do the transplant and charge them hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this is actually how they're funding most of their hospital system in China right now. The event featured a private screening of the compelling documentary, Fighting China's Forced Organ Harvesting. I'm amazed that this is actually happening in the 21st century. I'm appalled by it. I had no idea. And I'm so thankful, grateful to Dr. Churchill for putting up this presentation here at the Churchill Center. I took away that there's organ harvesting, but there's also the slave labor in these camps, and it's murder for, for profit. And in buying goods from China, I realized that we're all willing participants as long as we support this industry. When more people understand what's going on, they can actually take action. They can go to this website, endccp.com. This nonprofit actually has over 392 million Chinese people quit the Communist Party since 2005. We feel like once that number reaches a critical mass of maybe 500 million, that's when they'll actually collapse. And, you know, these horrific crimes against humanity that are happening in China will no longer exist. The evening wrapped up with a live performance by Tony Chen, playing selections he composed for the movie Free China, The Courage to Believe. I, I was originally from China. I grew up in Beijing. So the Free China documentary is a very important project for me because I believe that by doing such project that we are trying to help, we're trying to raise awareness. For those who want to get involved and join the fight for a free China, Dr. Churchill has a call to action. There's a bill in Congress right now. H.R. 6319 is our first bill from the Doctors Against Forced Organ Harvesting that basically takes the Chinese government to task to pull their visas of anybody involved in illegal organ harvesting, can freeze assets. It's a really powerful bill. And at this point, it's not bipartisan, so we need many more congressmen to sign on to this. So they can call their congressmen, they can email their congressmen, text their congressmen, H.R. 6319. You can look it up on the internet. This is a state-sponsored genocide. The allegations are true. The allegations are true.